The love story of Napoleon and Josephine is not the first time they try to romanticize it, but it is not what they try to show us. To begin with, Josephine was already married before she met Bonaparte. Her husband was Alexander de Beauharnais. It was a standard marriage of mutual benefit for the time, where there was no love at all. And soon Josephine divorced her husband, while managing to have two children. After the revolution, her more or less peaceful life came to an end. Largely because of her ex-husband's surname, she went to jail, but kept herself in control and soon had an affair with the same high-ranking prisoner, General Gosh. But soon she meets Napoleon and becomes infatuated with him. The Viscount didn't really need her, so he happily got rid of her, hypocritically blessing her marriage to Napoleon. Two days after the wedding, Bonaparte went to the front, but Josephine, not feeling any feelings for her new husband, continued to go to balls and new meetings. Simply put, in her life began to appear numerous new lovers. Napoleon right on the battlefield received denunciations about the adventures of his beloved, tried to file for divorce, but Josephine still, still managed to influence him that he would forgive her her transgressions. However, the first French lady Josephine was not as long as she wanted. Yes, she was engaged in political affairs. A lot depended on her decisions, but she could not get pregnant, and soon Napoleon broke off relations with her. I think that such an excursion into history weakly pulls on the romantic relationship for which they are trying, not the first year, to pass off their romance. Let's see what the movie will show us in the end. Thank you for watching us. Follow our channel. Subscribe.